How did scientists provide images of SARS-CoV-2, commonly known as COVID-19? Why can we see some objects invisible to the naked eye? To answer this, let us learn about the microscope, its parts, and its functions. We can easily see big things like your friends, cars, trees, buildings, and many more. But how about the minute objects like bacteria and viruses? That's right! Scientists use an equipment called the microscope. What then is a microscope? The microscope is an important tool in the study of living things. It contains lens or combination of lenses to produce enlarged images of small objects or specimens. A light source could be in the sunlight, through the mirror, or from an electric light bulb. This is an example of a compound microscope which uses light passing through a path along a series of lenses. The magnifying parts which enlarges images include the objective lenses and the eyepiece. The illuminating parts which provides and manages light source include the diaphragm and the mirror. Lastly, the mechanical parts which provide support and protection to other parts include force adjustment knob, fine adjustment knob, stage, stage clip, arm, base, revolving nose piece, body tube, after we have identified the parts of the microscope, let's identify now their functions. Eyepiece allows you to observe enlarged images of an object. Objective lenses magnify the images. So we have three lenses. The high power objective, the low power objective, and the oil immersion objective. Diaphragm controls the passing of light in the stage opening. Mirror reflects the light from the source towards the eyepiece. Course adjustment knob is used to move the tube and the objective lenses closer or farther away from the stage. Fine adjustment knob moves the stage up and down and brings the object's image into fine focus producing clearer and more detailed view of the object. Stage and the stage clip are used to support and hold the slide in place. Arm is used to support the tube and connect it to the base. Revolving nose piece allows the proper positioning of the objective lenses. Body tube holds the eyepiece and revolving nose piece in place. Can you identify again its parts and their functions? Aside from learning the parts and their functions, it is also important to practice how thick to take care of it. If you are given the chance to use it, handle it properly and clean its parts using appropriate material. I will call my laboratory assistant, Leia. Properly carry it, hold the arm with your hand while the other one at the base. Return it to its proper case. And store it in a clean and dry storage cabinet away from laboratory chemicals. Now, let us apply what you have learned in this lesson. Read the situation spell and identify the parts of the microscope and its functions mentioned in each situation. Match each part of the microscope to its correct descriptions. Write your answer in your answer sheet. 
Please do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Mad Cycle, and like our videos. And don't forget to hit the bell button for regular updates. I hope you learned in today's lesson. In the next episode, we will be focusing specimens using a compound microscope. This is Sir Leonard Ubiano, your science teacher. See you all next time.